Hello everybody and welcome to Team Tuesday. My name is Margaret and today I'm going to show you how to make macrame feathers. To make your own macrame feather, you're going to need a few supplies. You'll need string, scissors, and a ruler. Additionally, you'll need a key ring or something to tie it to, and a comb to feather out the string. The tape is optional. It may help you at the beginning by holding the key ring in place while you tie your knots. So, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is cut a piece of our string that is 18 inches long. Here you go. Now, we're gonna fold the string in half. So we have a loop end and an open end. Put the loop end through your key ring, like so, and take the open end and stick it through the loop. Holding the key ring, pull the ends to tighten the knot. There you go. Now, if you want, this is where you would add tape to hold the key ring to the countertop while you're working on it. Next up, we're going to need to cut strings that are seven inches long. The example that I'm gonna make uses 20 pieces of string that are seven inches long. Once you've cut your pieces, I'm gonna show you how to tie the knots. We're gonna be working with them in pairs. So there should be 10 pairs of string. Each piece is seven inches long. So starting with one, fold the string in half. Again, so we have a loop and an open end and going under the center string you're gonna place it like so. Take the other one, also fold it in half, so we have a loop end and an open end. Take the open end of your first string and pull it through the loop end of the second, like that. Then take the open end of the second string and place it through the loop end of the first string. So they should sort of hold on to each other around that center string. Pull the ends to tighten, slide it up to the top, and continue to tighten. Make sure that the center strings stay side by side and always this one on the right and this one on the left. We don't want them crossing or twisting because then our feather will sort of twist as it's going down. So let me show you that one more time. Grab two more pieces of string that are seven inches long. Take the first one, fold it in half, and always working from the same side. So I'm right-handed, it's easier for me to place the first string under from the right-hand side so the loop end is always on the left and the open end on the right. You can do it whichever way you want, just make sure you always do it in the same direction. Take the second string, fold it in half, take the open end of the first string and bring it through the loop, and take the open end of the second string and bring it through the first loop. Pull the strings to tighten, push it up, and tighten again. Continue pulling and tightening, pushing to the top. So we're gonna repeat this process for all of the rest of the strings. Okay, once you've got all of your strings tied on, and it looks like this, it's time to grab the comb. This part is very strange. Yes, definitely strange. What you're gonna do is you're gonna comb out the strings till they look like this, separating the individual threads that make up each string. You may find it easier to start by taking the large threads and separating them into the three 
pieces that twist together to make it. And then combing. Depends on how good your comb is and how patient you are. So it would look like this, each thread separated into three, and then comb. Or you can just start on the ends and work your way up, slowly combing until the whole thing is just fluffy all over. Now we're going to also want to make sure that we get these two strings done, but you don't have to do the full length. Look and see how long the strings are around it and cut some off. It will save you a little bit of time. All right, now that everything is frizzed out a bit, just go around it one more time, combing down the bottom especially so that there is no gap around the bottom. Now, grab your scissors. We're gonna trim this into a feather shape. How you make yours is up to you. Um, you can leave it on the counter and just cut around it. You can draw a line on it to cut, or you can hold it up and just trim it around that way. Whichever way works best for you. There you go. Give it another brush. Trim off any bits that are sticking out further than the rest so that you maintain your uniform feather shape. And if you would like, um, you can use hairspray or a gentle starch on the strings to get them to stay flat and in formation. If you don't have hairspray or something like that, that's fine too. It'll just look like this.